Okay. So, happiness is 20. Yay! Oh crap, I'm in big trouble, I guess. I wish you get out of big trouble. Throw some more money and you get happier. It's up to 40 now, yes. I have great luck now. Sixty. Oh, good. I have good luck now. Not great luck anymore. Apparently went down. I guess I should just leave because I still have good luck. This might actually trigger bad luck. Uh oh. Yep. Oh, you're at eighty. Oh, I still have good luck. I should quit while I can. No, no, we should we should try for a hundred. See what happens. Go for broke. <laughs> it's a fairy. Oh, it's a fairy. I want to carry more bombs. I want to carry more arrows. Which one should I choose? Mm, let's go with the bombs because we, we blow up more things than should arrows at it. Okay. Sweet. Now I can hold 15. Is that a bomb on the wall? Is that right? I don't think there's really anything in there, though. So, I just wanted to show that off. I'm not going to actually... You don't actually need more than 30 arrows or... 20 or 10 bombs you really don't but you can actually get them both up to um, 99 if you wanted to just keep huh? throwing in 100 rupees Combine. The, the other games like that too yeah there's a few other zombie games like that but you really don't have to i find it to be a waste of time because you don't need that many rupees or rupees i guess you don't need that many rupees either Nope. But <laughs> you don't need that many bombs or arrows. So. Hey, buddy. Come over here. Come Can't over see here. You. Oh, there he goes. Ha! <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> what? Okay. Why would you run at somebody that is holding a huge rock? Let's go back to the house, though. Because, since I beat the first six dungeons, I should be able to get... I think... I should be able to get the final sword. <gasps> I can! Hey, Mr. Elephant. Let's buy the super bomb. Now, where do I bring the super bomb to? That's a very good question. I don't know if you guys remember, but when we first came to the Dark World on the pyramid, there was a bombable wall there. That's where we bring it to. Be really careful because if you get hit while you're carrying the bomb, or if you oh crap, James, you're in front of me, <laughs> <laughs> or if you run with the bomb, that'll set it off. Oh, the super bomb, yeah. I think if you get hit too, I don't know if you run, boom, 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 boom. yeah, it's just like the treasure chest, you can't leave it behind. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Blow it up! Oh. I'm surprised not more of it broke. I remember this gimmick. But this time... Let's throw the sword in there. Let's hope we get it back. Whoa, that's a big fairy. Oh yeah. Oh, I guess I dropped it. Yeah, the level four sword. I got the golden sword. Yes. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. I 
can do one, one, one more thing. Arrows! Looks like the whole bow. <laughs> I know, right? Give you something important. These are silver arrows to give Ganon his last moment. You'll definitely need them. I know I don't have... I, I know I don't quite have the figure of a fairy. Ganon's cruel power is to blame. You must defeat Ganon. So, I don't know, these are the silver arrows, you need them to defeat Ganon. So, I don't know where in the game it actually tells you, besides for here, that you need the silver arrows to beat Ganon. Because you can't beat Ganon without the silver arrows. Just like it most fun. Yeah. But, it's either silver arrows or the light arrows. Yeah. But, I don't know where in the game it tells you that. So, it's kind of interesting. If somebody knows where in the game it tells you that, let me know. Because I have no idea. Oh, what am I doing? Because I have no idea, and I'm curious. Alright. Now we can go to Dungeon 7. That's my old dungeon. Well, the final one with the crystals. Yeah. Yeah. So we got one more after that. I think also we have to do a bunch of other dungeons for cannons. Mm-hmm. I think, if I remember correctly, I think this game has the most dungeons in it, though, out of any Zelda game. I can't think of any other ones that have more. Yeah, this one actually has... 10? That's all again is now? Technically, yeah. But if you count Hyrule Castle the two times you go into as well... Then it'll be 12. Screw you. So there's like 13 dungeons, including Ganon? Yeah. That sounds about right. Oh, that's weird. Oh, don't do that. Close. <laughs> yeah, make sure you have enough magic power to do this. What sucks is I'm not going to have enough magic power to get back. No. Nope. Because I never think about that. I never am like, oh, let's buy the green potion or something. So, I'm well, going to have to end up eating. You do have blue, but... I don't know if that affects it with spikes. I'm not sure. Well, I thought that there was one potion that did both HP and mana. Oh, the blue one does. Oh. Yeah. So, the can of beer, nah. Let's see how long that can last. The can of beer now that's our last item. It creates a defensive barrier around you. I don't use it. <laughs> it's there. Yeah. Yes. Great fairy. No man? No, it doesn't fill your man. There's a few, I think there's, is there two or three on the level? I can't remember. I, I know two for sure. Then we only need three more after that. Oh shit, do I have blue potion? Yeah. Okay, we're good. It was like I said before, the um, seventh dungeon is the only one you really have to worry about um, using up all your mana. So let's go this way. We never went this way before. Nope. Hmm. 
getting my nose itches. That's just a fairy. Yep. There's art piece over there. Stupid fairy. <laughs> well, it's nothing to do with you. Let's go in here. Let's see what's in here. We're going to explore the caves a little bit. Storm's always good. That's fine. Damn it. Stupid mini moldorm things. So now we're down here. This is the other side of the mountain on the bottom there. Let's see. Here? I can never remember where exactly you're supposed to go in the caves. Oh, yep, okay, this is what I was looking for. So there's a few chests in here. Just two. And arrows. And pops. It wasn't even worth it. Oh, well. But look at that. get in there. This is how I always do it. <laughs> it works. Just rupees? Yeah, a hundred rupees. So nothing spectacular, but... But hey, it's there. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here in the mountain. Hey, better shot. Oh, let's actually buy a red potion. There goes all the rupees I just got. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! I need more monster. Everything's so expensive in this world. Mm hmm. <laughs> Let's go in here then. See what's in here. God, my nose won't stop itching, you guys. Stop thinking about me out there. <laughs> so, <laughs> our mom always told us that when your nose itches, somebody's thinking about you. Don't know how true that is, but <laughs> it's not true at all. But it's funny. It's a great saying. Oh shit! Well, in the void. Well, I guess that led me over here, but I mean, it's just yeah, rupees. There. <laughs> just rupees. Go down here. Big hole. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. I thought I'd double check anyway, just to make sure. Big hole, what do you expect? You expect something good, right? Well, normally. More fairies. More furries. Furries. Not furries, James. There's a have big you, difference. Have, have you seen how it's spelled in this? Yeah, fairies. Like fae. Not furries. Furries. <laughs> You're a bastard. Really? Really, game? That's what you're gonna do, you like that. I think what I can do 
That was a dick move, game. Dick move. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's go to the Dirk World. The Dirk World. Well, there's nothing there. The Dirk World? I don't know if you can notice. I don't even know if people watching on YouTube can notice this. When you go up and down, for some reason, it looks like on the rock there, the lava or whatever it is, it's going faster. Looks like it. And when you go down, it looks like it's going up. Yeah. I don't get it. No caves? Over here. There's two of them. Hey. Oh, trap. He's just chilling. Why are there people selling stuff on the mountain like that? Like, who just explores the mountain? Um, opening up shop in a mountain like that? Apparently everybody is thinking of doing it. What if there's somebody, like, on Mount Everest, like, halfway up, being like, you want to buy stuff here? <laughs> <laughs> the climbers coming up? That'd be great. What would they sell? Would they sell, like, mountain climbing stuff? I could see that. But this guy has, like, potions and... Well, potions and, like, the hearts are going to help you on your adventure. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, mountain. Yeah, I guess so. Because there are enemies everywhere. You're going to need a heart. Roops. More bombs. More Rupals. Rupors? <laughs> I don't want the Rupors. I still can't remember what game Rupors are from. There's a Zelda game where there's Rupors and they take money from you. I want to say it's Majora's Mask. But I could be wrong. Oh, what the? I fell off. I think all these just contain groups. Four Swords, Phantom Hourglass, and Skyward Sword. Oh, okay. Skyward Sword, that's where I've seen them before. So I've never played Four Swords. And then I've never... What was the other one you saw? Phantom Hourglass. I've never yep. played through Phantom Hourglass either. Phantom Hourglass is actually pretty fun. <laughs> Yeah, I've played this so many times I've memorized that, but you can actually use the ether spell. And it'll just, like, get, show up with the hit, the hidden path. Yeah. I wonder if that'll show up on YouTube, because it compresses the frame rate on YouTube. Yep. I don't know if it'll show up, but ether spell, you can see where the, the path is at. If I remember correctly, the ones on the right and the one on the top, I think those are fake. Oh, never mind, the top one is not. Just the right one. What do we got up here, then? Oh, good, a fairy. That's exactly what I needed. Well, I actually, I needed heart. a heart. So that's fine. Fairies. <laughs> but I know uh, Minish Cap has like like that steal your rubies. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yay, heart container. Only four more to go. Four more heart pieces. One more heart container. Oh, two more. Turtle Rock here, finally. But in order to get into it, we have to be in the Light World. Because we have to get to the top of it, and we can't get to the top of it in the Dark World. We can in the Light World, but 
how do we get back? Ha! Is that always the same? Yeah, you have to do it in the right order. If you don't do it in the right order, you have to exit the screen and come back on. Yep. Here we go, guys. The only one... The <laughs> only one... <laughs> only... Such a waste. Such a waste. Hopefully, I have enough magic to make it through this place now. Yep, that's the only time we're going to be seeing Quake. <laughs> oh, yeah, Dungeon 7. This is probably the hardest dungeon in the game, by the way. This place is pretty difficult. Turtle Rock. Let's see what Shahashara has to say. Yeah, do you possess a medicine of magic? If not, I recommend going, not going against it. I recommend against going any further. Yeah, about that. We're gonna risk it. Oh, yeah, that's the other use of the Cana Samaria. I forgot to say that. You can make blocks on those. I guess. Is that what you would call them? Yeah. Let's have a look over here. I think there's a key here. Nope. Damn it. There's a key in here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, it's the compass. That was... Don't need the compass. Oh, shit, that's right. So, Igor. It only shoots you when you're facing it. I think it's an Igor. It's not an Igor, but it's not. Right. Yeah. So as long as you're facing away from it, and of course you see the door opens and closes too. Did you see that? <laughs> Alright, so we gotta light all the torches. Best way to do it is don't do this right away because they do go out in a certain amount of time. So what I would do... Oh shit. That's fine. I'll get it like that. Yeah, after a certain amount of time they go out. Normally I'm quick enough to turn around and able to get the other one, but that's fine. Let's do it this way. I probably shouldn't do it that way. Because I don't have any magic potions. <laughs> I should probably be conserving my magic. That's probably the best idea. Should be. But yay, I finally got a key. Um, cane. Always need the cane. Always. Get out of here. I don't remember if there's anything in here. Oh, maybe there is. Let's just wait it out. Yep. Flip four times. You can't hurt me. You can't touch me. I'm gonna laugh. I love laugh just when I smack you in the face. <laughs> oh god. It's cause I'm gooder than a bitch, y'all. But I love how it always makes the exact same symbol. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a skull. That's what they say. 
I kind of looks like a skull and crossbones to me. That's all that's in here. Okay, good. I got more magic, so. This is kind of worth it. Yeah. Get out of here, you stupid caterpillar thing. Caterpillar. Worm caterpillar. I don't know. To me, it looks kind of like one of those pokies from Mario. Oh, yeah. There's also Chewy Chomps here. Chain Chomps. I always say Chewy Chomp for some reason. It's a Chain <laughs> Chomp. James is 100% right. And I think the only other Zelda game that they were in were, was, uh... Was it, uh, Link's yeah, because you have to use it in order to get into the second dungeon. Yep. It's actually a good guy. Oh shit! Those things take so much health away! Oh my god! How did I get caught in there? Jesus! Game! Shit. Oh, come on! Stop being dicks. I love the hell in any game they're in, they always make the exact same sounds. Alright. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. Are those pipes? Like from Mario? From Mario. Yeah, this dungeon is really straightforward once you hit this area. So we gotta find a way to get to the middle there. And I don't think that was right. There we go. That's the one I wanted. Oh wow, four gold. I was gonna man fears. Oh, get out! No, you bastard. We, we got more. Oh yeah, I probably need a key. Yeah. Hey, thank you. More magic. Sweet. And my key ran away from me, by the way. He's all like, you never get this, you never get this. And then I get this. <laughs> and you definitely get this. Hey, a chest. Big key. Don't want to miss that. Again, you don't get it at the end of the dungeon. It's like halfway through the dungeon. Just kind of interesting. And more magic. I thought I needed a potion of magic. I guess if I keep getting hit like that. Stop getting hit by anti fairies. Boom, 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 boom. There is a very annoying part in this dungeon, by the way. Back over here. I think it's on the next floor. Once I get to the next floor. Which one is it again? This one? Yeah, okay, good. One of these guys has a key again. Eight bombs? Thank you. Damn. Should have got that afterwards. Nope, never mind. Is there... I thought there was a key in this room. Nope, I guess not. I do want to go down. Going right will do nothing for me. This room is annoying too. This is not the room I'm talking about though. See the eyes? Yeah, that. Okay. So the ones that are, it looks like they're closed. 
They only attack you when you're facing away. That one. Oh, they all do that. Damn it, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. It just sounds intimidating. <laughs> this one is really cleverly hidden. It's the only way to get into this cave. Oh, wow. Yeah. that one. This is annoying. I guess I could use Bombos. This yeah. takes a lot less mana, though. Maybe now I can hit him? Of course not. Just barely. There. Got it. That's annoying. But we did it. We got here a cup of haters. <laughs> Peace of heart. Three more left. What do we got over here? A cup of haters. Oh, I love Enzo Amore. <laughs> it's funny because he's so bad in the ring, but he's so. Entertaining. <laughs> Mirror shield! You can now reflect beams that your old shield couldn't block. Look how big it is! You can't even see him anymore. You can't even see his pupils anymore. You can see his eye. How does he even see? That's a good question. That's a good question. Now we can go to the boss. Is there a key over in this one? This up is where you're supposed to go, but I can't remember if there's a key over here or not. Oops. Oh no, 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 no. That room's useless. Don't even go in there. I remember that room now. Jeez, you already killed all the pieces. Yeah. The this too. sword is. Oh, I can get it. This sword is really powerful. I think that's the key. I think this is the really annoying room. Yep, it is. God damn it. Okay. So there's a switch in the middle of the room. But if you notice the tracks, there's like 50 different ways you can go. There's only one specific way that you can go in order to get there. Oh, by the way, let's try to use this trick if I can. <laughs> I actually did it! Look how it pauses you when you play a super. I know, right? Nope, that's not right either. This way, this way. Nope, I just went this way. Yep. Okay, I think I see it. Go this way, and then this way. There we go. I did it too soon. No, go down. Damn it! No, where are you going, Link? Damn it. Or, sorry, not Link. Womp? Womp, yeah. Sorry, I don't know who Link is. But for Shahashula. Telling us we should grab a potion. Oh, it's a little bit. We've been getting a lot of magic. I know, right? Ah, 
Ah, shit. This way, this way. No, shit. It's not right either. Like this? Yep. There we go. Okay, this part sucks. There's a Helmosaur at the bottom there. Let's see if I can actually do it without. Oh, good. Normally, I, um, bounce off of it. <laughs> well, you, I think it was sideways for you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, it's facing, isn't it? Damn it. Just, just, just do it normally. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I don't want to hit these guys, though. Thanks to that. Those things have a shit ton of health. Yeah, they do. I, th I think it's just more the fact that they have a lot of defense. Yeah. God, there's nothing there. It's. I think it's kind of like a checkpoint in case you die. Because this dungeon is so oh, long. So when you die, you'll just start there instead of at the beginning. It helps. Yeah. But we're in the final stretch anyway, so. Actually. Oh, a fairy. Good. I was actually gonna. Oh, I do need more fairies anyway. That's okay. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> it's coming. Oh, God. I'm gonna end up using up all my magic. Oh, good! <laughs> that works! <laughs> Awesome. Nope, that's right. That doesn't work in this game. Only in A Link's Awakening. In A Link's Awakening, if you actually hit the switch while you're on top of those, you'll just get on top of it and you can walk around on it. Yep. This game, it just freezes you until you actually hit the thing again. Hopefully I have enough magic, because I have to use magic in order to kill the boss. Alright, remember the ice rod? We actually get a use out of it now. Like I said, you have to have it in order to beat the game. Yep. Even though it seems like a side item. Shit. Oh god! Stop missing! Oh good. Actually killed it really quick. I think the game might have. Because they usually don't stay frozen that long. Yeah, see that was only two sword swing swings. The other one stayed frozen for all th for all four. God damn it. I can't go into my menu while it's doing that, by the way. Still got one more part left. The snake. magic for this part? Nope. We're all good now. So now you just gotta hit the glowing part in the middle. It's actually a lot easier at this part. It's already dead. Dang. Three hits. <laughs> it's because I got the fully upgraded sword. are made in America. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, it's Zelda! 
We found her. Yo, Link, I appreciate you coming to rescue me. As I thought, you were the legendary hero. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. <laughs> I have felt this from the first time we met. Did you? Ganon was waiting inside his tower to pass through the great... The gates, not the great. <laughs> blinking the two worlds. Once Ganon enters the light world, it is unlikely that anyone can stop him. But if he stays in the closed space of this world, you can find him wherever he runs. Now go to the tower of Ganon. Will we use our combined powers to break the barrier? Let's return peace to the country without fail. So the question is now, should we go get the other three heart pieces before we go to Ganon's castle? Or should we do them after? Because the final boss is not technically in Ganon's tower, so... But Ganon's tower is on the mountain here. I feel like we should get them now. Okay. That's fine. Let's see, which one should I tackle first? Actually, yeah, let's go here. Yeah, just go to day A1. Yeah, but I really want to do that one last because I hate yeah. that one. Dark World? Okay, now I'm having a brain fart. Because I only can remember where two of them off the top of my head are, but I have three left, right? Yeah. Brain well, fart. Well, isn't there some in the tower? No. There's not. Because you can have all 20 hearts by the time you get to the tower. There's one there. Then oh, there's one there. There's one in the digging game. I'll figure it out by the time we get the other ones. At least I think I will. Yes, yeah, so you can pass through the bouncy thing with the cape. Bouncer? The bouncer. Piece of heart. Okay. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. You got all the ones from the dungeons, right? Mm -hmm. There shouldn't be any in the dungeons. I think I might know where it's at. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I know where it's at. I'm being dumb. I told you I would remember. It's back here. Behind the, the graveyard here. I think the game's telling me I need to use bombs. <laughs> Hot there we go. Just one more, you guys. Just one more. Come on! Really? They warped me back too soon. <sighs> this is... The digging game is... That was perfect. It could take me a minute, like it took me with the treasure chest game. Mm -hmm. Or it could take me three fucking hours. Yep. Let's hope for the former. But I doubt it's gonna happen because it always takes me like three hours. There's times when I play this game and I just skip it because it's just so annoying. 
but then it bothers me because I like the hundred percent games. So. <laughs> <laughs> You have to lift that just jump the gap. Yep. <laughs> dig up as many as you can dig up as many holes as you can for eighty rupees. Eighty fucking rupees. So much. So here's the thing with the digging game, you have thirty seconds, right? The heart piece could be anywhere in this big ass area. You just gotta hope you dig up red rupees as you go, too, because then you get your money back. Yep. God, this dirty game. Okay. So, we are going to cut back when I actually find the heart piece. So, this is going to get annoying. So we'll be back. Every time I see that red ruby, I'm like, oh, it's the heart, because it's red. <laughs> there it is! Ha ha! Found it! Yeah, people say it's just random. That's what I thought. So, did you want to take a break now, or. Um, yeah. the game. There isn't much of the game left, so. Okay. We'll take a break. Uh, we'll just finish this, I guess, in the next session, probably next weekend. Yeah. It'll only take like 10 minutes, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys, like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Smash the like button. Yep. Yeah, smash it. Subscribe, too. If you're not a subscriber, I mean, hey, we're, hey, we're fun guys. Hey. Subscribe, because we, we, got, we got something planned. Yeah. So, okay, everybody, take it easy.